Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video where I will try to explain how you can connect solar panels with different specifications together to maximize the output. Doing this the wrong way might hurt your equipment and it might lose you a lot, a lot of uh, output. So let's begin with the basics and this is really basic and it's also really, really boring for some people. But if you want to get a deeper knowledge, stay tuned for a couple of minutes and after that I will explain everything in detail. And this is the boring stuff. Uh, the man in the picture is George Ohm and about 200 years ago he wrote something down that is called Ohm's Law. It's a formula that you can use to, uh, if you have a power, current and voltage, how they are connected together. So if you have the power and the voltage, you can calculate the current and it doesn't matter which two of them you have, you can calculate the third one. And why is this important when it comes to solar panel? Well, when you buy a solar panel, mostly you read how many watts it is. But that doesn't say anything about the current or the voltage. But the current multiplied with the voltage is the power. So a 200 watt solar panel can have a current of 11 amps and the voltage of 18 volts. But it can also have a current of 18 amps and the voltage of 11 volts. Or it can, uh, in theory, have a current of 1 amp and the voltage of 200 volts. All of those will be 200 watt solar panel. But it will be kind of hard connecting them together. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next part. To begin with, we're going to talk about connecting solar panels in series or parallel. And uh, to make it simple to begin with, I'm going to show you what happens when you connect solar panels with the same specifications. So let's say that you have three 200 watt solar panels. All of them are at 18 volts and 11 amp. If you connect them in series, the voltages will add together. So it will become 18 plus 18 plus 18, with, which is uh, 54 volts. But the amp will be the lowest amp of those three solar panels when connecting series. Here they have the same, same amps, so it will become 11 amps. And 54 times 11 is 600, which means that you get the maximum result out of those three solar panels. If we connect them in parallel, then there's a little bit difference, but the same principle. The voltage will here be the lowest voltage of the three panels. Uh, the three panels are all at 18 volts, so they will stay at 18 volts even when connected in parallel. Uh, but the amps will add together, so there will be 11 amps plus 11 amps plus 11 amps and 33 amps. 18 times 33 is 600 and also here you will have the exact same output. So when you have the same solar panels it doesn't matter if you connect them in uh, parallel or in series you will get the same watts out of the system even though you get the same amount of watts out of the systems in series and parallel there's still some other things you need to take into consideration among other things if the amperage is higher then you will need a thicker cable so if you're going to have a long cable it might get kind of expensive so if you're going to transport electri electricity over a longer distance, there might be uh, some win for you to actually connect them in uh, series instead. And now finally on to what this video is actually about, and that is connecting solar panels with different specification in series and parallel, and which is the winning way to do it. Let's begin with the series and the first example. As you can see here, we have three different uh, solar panels, one of 140 watts, one of 200 watts, and one of 70 watts, and we're going to connect them in series. The combined watts output of this system is 410 watts, and as you can see, they're all at 18 volts. So if we connect them in series, the voltage will be the lowest value, and they're all 18 volts, so it will be 18 volts and the amps will add up. And in this case, it will be 18 volts times 23 amps, and that is 410 watts, which means a 0% loss. 
So in this next example, we still have the same power output of each solar panel, but uh, the voltage and the amps have switched places. And let's see what's this, where this takes us. So the voltage will be the lowest value. And in this case, the lowest value in the solar panel is 4 volts. So the voltage of the system will be 4 volts. And the combined amps will be 18 times 3, which is 54 amps. And we're up to just 216 watts of power instead of the maximum 410, which we got in the other. So connecting these uh, three panels in series with actually has a loss of 47% if you try to use this system. As you saw here, when connecting series, it's really important the voltage are the same or at least are close to each other to maximize the output of the system. Otherwise, you can get severe losses in your system. And what's going to happen when we connect three different solar panels in parallel? In the first example, we have the same panels as we have in the first example when we connect in series. So the voltage are the same and the amps are different in the system. Here, the voltage will be the total value of all three solar panels connected together and the amperage will be the lowest value. So in this case, it's uh, 54 volts and just 4 amps, which is 416 watts. So here, connecting these ones in parallel will give you 47% loss, while when we connected the same panels in series, we got 0% loss. And this is the second example, and uh, well, you will probably not find these solar panels on the market. These are just for you to understand the calculations. But we have three solar panels and the amps are the same. The voltage will be the total value, still, this parallel. So we add them up, which makes 137 volts. And the amps will be the lowest value, and here they're all the same at three amps. So the theoretical maximum output would be 410 watts, which is a 0% loss. And I have to say this again, you won't find these exact solar panels on the market because no one would make a 66 volts and a 3 amps solar panel. If actually someone has made one, please comment below and give me a link because I really want to watch those specifications. So a simplified conclusion. If the goal with your system is to maximize your output, and if the value of your current or amps, amperage, are very close to each other, then go for a parallel connection. And if the value of the voltage, the volts, are close to each other, then go for a series connection. And I can't stress this enough, this is just some information about how to maximize your output. You have to take other things into consideration as well when you're building your system. For example, are you trying to charge a battery and what voltage will your battery be, how much uh, voltage can the rest of your system handle, and so on. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I wish you sunny skies and that your solar panels will never be shaded and that your battery will always be fully charged. Have a pleasant day, take care and bye.